Hello, Namaste everybody. Welcome to yet another program of School Readiness Program First Language English Bridge Course Session 4, Class 8. Hope you are all good. Yes, let's look into today's components. Assignment check, conjunctions, picture reading, figure of speech, metaphor and simile, rhyme scheme, participle clause and post test. Shall we move into the assignment check? Yes. Write about how often the actions are done. These assignments were given in the previous session. Just look into the picture and see what they could be filled in. They occasionally ride bicycle. I always brush my teeth twice a day. I usually watch TV in the evening. Next, form sentences with the help of the given picture and adverbs. Elegantly, she dresses elegantly, happily. They clap hands happily. Loudly, she screams loudly. Lazily, she is lying on sofa lazily. Hungrily, she is waiting hungrily. Gently, a hand is holding the bird gently. Fill in with a and the. There was a cat in a car. The car is faster than the bus. My father is an engineer. An honest man works hard. Answer the questions. Where is the boy lying? The boy is lying on the bed. What is hanging on the wall? There is a picture on the wall. Where is the bag? The bag is beside the cot. What are in the wardrobe? There are clothes in the wardrobe. These were the assignments for the last session. Children, now let us see we have a game here to combine few sentences. Let us just do this. Now children, we are going to combine these two sentences. Venki plays football, Hari plays football. Let us see how we are going to combine these. Venki, Hari, play football. What is the word that is going to combine these? words and Venki plays football, Hari plays football, they are both, both play football. So there is a word which combines them, Venki and Hari play football. Here Meera is bored of drawing, Meera reads storybook. Now let us see here, Meera is bored of drawing is the reason and Meera reads a story book is the result. How are we going to combine these two sentences? Meera is bored of drawing so she reads story book. So is the word that combined those two sentences. Look at these questions. There are Two toys. Do you like elephant toy? Do you like bear toy? Let us combine these two questions. Do you like elephant toy? Do you like bear toy? Elephant toy and bear toy are for your choice. And these are combined with do you like elephant toy or bear toy? Yes children, what are these words? which combines or joins the words conjunctions. Conjunctions are words that join two words or phrases or clauses or sentences. Let us watch a video to know more about conjunctions. Conjunctions A conjunction is a word that joins two nouns phrases or sentences. 
the words for and nor but or yet so are called coordinating conjunctions the mnemonic fanboys is an easy way to remember the names of the conjunctions coordinating conjunctions always come between the words or phrases or clauses that they join for is used like because it presents reason for example we took out the umbrellas from the loft for it is rainy season now and is used to show addition it presents ideas that are similar for example my brother wants to be a writer and a scientist nor is used to say not it presents a negative idea with another or joins two sentences having the adverb not for example my father does not get angry at me nor does my mother but shows a contrast presents ideas that are opposite for example we went to the theater but we could not get tickets for the movie or shows an option presents an alternative idea or choice for example be there on time or you will miss the bus yet presents an outcome or contrast for example i was upset with my brother yet i helped him with his project so presents a consequence or a result for example i had not done my homework so i apologize to my teacher children you have just watched the video about conjunction and we have a mnemonics there that is fanboys maybe in your regular classes your teacher will be teaching more about conjunctions and you will be, you will be using them in your conversations and in your writings yes let's move into picture reading children just look at this picture if very familiar picture indeed and you know very well when this picture was posted you could recall the complete thing of this picture you could recall the sequential story of this picture and of course this is a story let's see what are the phrases that come to our minds the hare and the tortoise friends running race hare slept tortoise slow but steady hare woke up late tortoise won yes children let's now start reading about this picture this picture is about a story the hare and the tortoise they were friends the hare was proud of his fast running but the tortoise was very slow the hare called the tortoise to race with him the tortoise agreed and they ran a race the hare ran fast he was tired and slept under a tree the tortoise walked slowly but steadily and won the race the hare woke up and ran fast but in vain moral of the story slow and steady wins the race children you already knew this story and if when the picture was posted you were able to recall all the words 
this is a kind of picture reading children. Let's look into another picture. Please take a look at it for a few seconds. Just look what's happening in the picture. Well children, let's recall some of the phrases which come to our mind. Mm, child marriage, offense, punishment, imprisonment, law, fixed age for marriage, child's right. Exactly. Now let's read about this picture. With these phrases, let's move into the picture reading. This picture is about child marriage. Child marriage is an offense. Here the boy is below 21 and girl is below 18 years old. They are minors to get married and run a family. The policemen take action and imprison the parents and supporters. Children have all rights to study, find job, choose their life partner etc. But the law has fixed age for their marriage. Let children enjoy their childhood. <laughs> yes children, this was about the present picture reading. Now let's just compare the two pictures together. The first picture was about a story which we already knew and the next picture was an incident which is picturized there. In the first picture we spoke in the past forms because the story had already taken place and this second picture we spoke in present forms because many ongoing incidents take place and this is an incident which takes place now and then. Now let me bring to you this picture. Look into this picture. This is not only the picture but you are leaving like this nowadays. Shall we recall the words? Yes, coronavirus, COVID-19, wash hands often, seal down, stay home, quarantine, social distancing, online classes, use soap and water, play games, lockdown, watch TV, stay safe, mask, drink hot water. Yes children, with these let's just do some picture reading here. This picture is about the present situation of the world. Lockdown, a dreadful virus, coronavirus has disturbed the mankind. This virus is transmitted physically, so we need to keep social distancing. Here people stay home and are engaged in different activities. They wash their hands often with soap and water for nearly 20 seconds. They drink lot of warm water, eat healthy and nutritious food. Children help their parents, play games, listen to online classes, drawing and watch movies too. They are wearing face masks while they play with neighbors and friends. They are engaged in yoga and meditation. They are following the government rules and regulations during this lockdown. Yes children, so this picture is the present situation and while reading this picture we used the present forms of verbs and read this picture. Children, in the next coming regular classes you will be given the task about picture reading. So any picture when you start with you could begin with this picture is about. So that is how you will begin to start while reading a picture. Yes children it is poem time. Let's read this poem. Our class 
We work to make good grades. We are as hard working as ants. We study hard and we are as smart as owls. We have fun all day. We are playful like babies. We like to make others laugh. We are funny like clowns. Children, in this poem, it was compared to we. What do we do? How are we? What are we? What are we compared to? As hard working as ants, as smart as owls, playful like babies, funny like clowns. Yes, children. What are these comparisons? Well, these comparisons are similes. Similes are a way of comparing nouns using the words as or like. Yes, children. Now, let's see these comparison. My mom said that my study room is a pig pen. What is the meaning of this pig pen? Maybe this one? <laughs> exactly. So, a pig pen means a dirty place or messy place. And study room is compared to a pig pen. My professor is a walking dictionary. What does this mean? How is this compared? Let's just see. Oh, dictionary, walking dictionary. What do you mean by walking dictionary? Very informative. So, my professor is compared to a walking dictionary. Children, what are these kind of comparisons called as? They are metaphors. Let's see. Metaphors are a way of comparing two persons, animals, things or places without using like or as. Children, simile where comparing of two things using like and as. Whereas metaphor, we don't use like and as, but there are comparison. Let's look into both the types of comparison, simile as well as metaphor. Here comes few examples. Simile, John runs as fast as lightning, metaphor. John is a lightning in the race. Simile, the art show is as colorful as rainbow. Metaphor, the art show is a rainbow. Children, look into this picture. Simile, children are like busy bees. Metaphor, children are busy bees. Simile, he fights like a lion. He is a lion in the fight. My mom is as sweet as honey. My mom is sweet honey. Children, these are the expressions and these expressions are figure of speech. In this class, we are recalling simile and metaphor which we had already learnt in class 7. Let's see their usage. What's this? A, B, A, A, B. Are we learning alphabet? At the end of this task, we will see why this was given to you. Let's read this poem which you had already learnt in class 7. The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry I could not travel both. And be one traveller long I stood and looked down one as far I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Children, let's find out the rhyming words in this poem. You would have already done, but now recall. Let's see, what are these rhyming words? Rhyming words are repetition of similar sounds at the end of a word. In this poem, the rhyming words 
are would, stood, could and both under growth. What does this have to do with A, B, A, A, B? Let us take a look at how this comes. First line takes would and what is the next line that rhyme with would? It is the third line stood. Again what does would and stood rhyme with? Could. So, this when it began with A, all the rhyming words that rhymes with first sound takes the A. Let us look into this. Both. Both is the second line and what is the word that rhyme with both? It is the fifth line that rhyme both under growth. Hence, here would, stood, could take A, both, growth take B and hence the rhyme scheme is A, B, A, A, B. Children, you had already learnt this in the previous class with the same rhyme. Let us find the rhyming words from these lines, the same poem. And both that morning equally lay, in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. Let us see the rhyme scheme. Yes, lay, day, way, exactly, black, back and there are many other rhyme schemes also children. Just take a look at it. You need not worry ab much about this rhyme scheme now only. We have dealt with this rhyme scheme, but in the coming classes you will come across the other rhyme schemes also children. Well children, now let us move into participle clauses. For this, look at this picture. The rising sun looks splendid, is not it? Here we have two colored words. Let us see. Looks and rising. We know these are action words. We have learnt it in our previous class. Now let us even more analyze these things. Looks is the main verb and it is in present tense. What about rising? Rising is a present continuous. Why? Because we have been taught that when action words take ing forms, they are present continuous. Let us see what else. And it is also an adjective. Why it is an adjective? Rising sun. Adjective qualifies a noun. Here sun is the noun and adjective qualifies the sun, speaks more about the sun. Fine. So, two roles are played here. And let us see the next one and it is also a participle. How are participle formed? Verb plus ing. So, this is a participle. Let us know something more about participle. Word formed from a verb which functions as an adjective. Works as a verbal adjective that is it qualifies a noun or a pronoun. Refers to a person or thing that causes the action or condition. Yes. Now let us see, we today are going to look into two participles that is present participle, past participle. With few examples, let us learn these two. What do you see in the picture? Yes, two children, I will say for you. I like learning children. Now here, we are going to look into present participle and here are the condition given. Okay? Let us keep this in our side slide and we will look into the sentences further. Like is the main verb. Learning is the present participle and it works also as an adjective. Why? Because it speaks more about the children. It describes the children. What does it describe? Learning children. Yes. Who are they in the picture? 
Yes, they are. Firefighters jumped into the burning fire to save a child. Here, jumped, main verb, burning is present participle. This burning acts as an adjective also because it speaks more about fire. She sold her working machine. Sold is the main verb. Working is the present participle which speaks about the machine. Well children, let's just look into this picture. What can you say about this picture? Bottle, green bottle. Huh, what has happened to the bottle? Broken bottle, exactly. It is a broken bottle. Look into this sentence. A broken bottle cut my foot. Let's see what is in this sentence. Cut is the main verb. Broken is the past participle. We are now going to talk about past participle and the third form of verb. It is third form of verb also it is an adjective and how is this third form of verb formed? Break, broke, broken and that is how the verb is formed. Here broken is a word which describes a bottle and hence it functions as an adjective too. A broken bottle cut my foot. Here broken is the participle form that is the verb form 3. Let's look into this sentence. The confused girl made a mess. Made is a main verb. Confused is past participle. And the third form verb is confuse, confused, confused. Take a look at this picture and the sentence. The burned toast tasted awful. Tasted is the main verb. Burned is the past participle. How is this formed? Burn, burnt, burned. Look into this. The written copies look great. Look, main verb, written, past participle. It also describes the copies. It is formed with the words write, wrote, written. Yes, children. We saw two kinds of participles. That is present participle and past participle. Let's just recall what we have learnt. Present participle with suffix ing whereas past participle usually are in the, ed, t, n, n. Present participle describes an incomplete action or condition whereas past participle describes a past or completed action or condition. Present participle refer to a noun that causes an action or condition. Past participle refer to a noun that experiences the action or condition. Present participle active in form, past participle passive in form. Yes, children. In further classes, you will be learning another participle that is past perfect. Okay? Dear children and teacher friends, please take a look at this bridge course assessment sheet. And these sheets you can download from DSRT website and give it to your children and make them do this task. Let's just complete this bridge course saying that it was really successful, wonderful that you were with us all these days watching us on the school readiness program bridge course. Thank you very much. Stay safe and be safe. Anudina, anukshana, mani yellu kaliyona. Kalikeya ho sahadi ali, jote gudi hechya kona.
ಸಂತಸದಿ ಕಲಿಯೋಣ ನಮ್ಮ ಹೆಮ್ಮೆಯಾಯಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿನಲ್ಲಿ